Congratulations. 30 years here at St. Elmo's. That's a long time in any business. That is a century in the restaurant business. What are, what are some of your secrets? Patty, there really are no secrets. It's hard work, honesty, diligence, treating people right, and we love our people. We have very little turnover in any of our businesses, and we treat them with dignity, respect, and we also create a future for them. Uh, they can, they've advanced from the very bottom up to the top. Right. So that's a good reason to keep people around uh, they, because they want to stay. And you've had people stay a long time. Uh, Lorenzo's been here, what, 40 years? Lorenzo Acuna, one of our favorite guys, 40 years. He was here 10 years before I bought St. Elmo in 1986. Okay. Did you ever think you might need to move locations at one point in time? We never did. I bought this location in 1986 when downtown was a derelict place. <clears throat> the mall was under construction. Uh, there were no other restaurants to speak of downtown, maybe a couple or three. Shapiro's, of course, has been here even longer than we have. And, uh, but downtown, people used to go home at 5 o'clock after work, and they wouldn't come back till the next day. We had no convention center. We had no sports. We didn't have anything, but we had a loyal following at St. Umbo. And talk about the food. Uh, what's the secret of your steaks? There is no secret There's really. No we secret. do we just do things right. We buy the same steak that any restaurant can buy. Really? It's it's aged. It's a prime Angus, uh, prime and choice both. Depends on the cut and what you order. Uh, it's a, the secret I think from buying a steak at a say gourmet meat market and from us is we age our steaks between 35 and 45 days, mm -hmm. and they're wet aged, and that really enhances the flavor. Mm -hmm. And it's really a good, tender, delicious succulent steak. The Oaken Bar, this has been here forever, since 1902? This bar was here in uh, probably around 1902. Okay. We obviously weren't around then, but our understanding is this bar was featured in the World's Fair in the late 1800s and was added to St. Elmo sometime in the early 1900s. When you walk around St. Elmo and you see all the pictures on the wall that people send us, they were all people that had a great time here. We don't just take any picture. It had to be a meaningful occurrence that happened at St. Elmo. And you saw all the celebrities. I mean, if you come to Indianapolis, they come here. That's correct. They, they, they know this place. We're the place to see and be seen. And hopefully it's because we have great service and great food. And I can't let you go without mentioning oh, that cocktail sauce. Whoa. Uh, you're famous all around the world for that as well. We are. Now we sell it by the bottle, and it's also in grocery stores. I know. I've got some. It's amazing. We have it at Costco, Sam's, locally Marsh, Kroger's, yeah. uh, Fresh uh, Market, uh, a lot of places. And I even have it down in Florida. When I go into my uh, grocery store near my house, there's St. Elmo smiling at me. Uh. And that gives me a lot of pride and pleasure to say that that's part of what we help create. And you've had the time of your life, too. I've had a great time here. I've had more fun than any of our guests. Cheers. Cheers, Patty. Cheers, Stephen. Thank Steve, you. Steve, right? Either one works. Either one. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Patty. <laughs>